Welcome to this week's episode of Knowing Me, Knowing Blues. I'm Bex, and today I am joined on the sofa by TJ Tavar. TJ, nice to see you. Thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. All good. Good. Uh, have you seen Knowing Me, Knowing Blues before? Yeah. You have. Good. Yeah. So you're already doing better than Taff then. <laughs> um, so the fans have been sending in some questions for you. They're not all football related, okay? Some of them get quite weird. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Let's mm. jump straight in. This one's quite a juicy one, actually. <laughs> Who is the most famous person in your phone book? Wow. <laughs> Gotta be a confirmer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. of course. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Um, what do you do in your spare time away from football? That's from Beverly. Um, interesting. I do like to keep myself busy, so um, yeah, I just work a lot after football. I like to go to the cafeteria, nice. sit on my own, yeah. get my own space, do some work on my laptop. That's what about your downtime? What do you do in your downtime? Do you like to read, watch a movie? Yeah, I'm a movie guy. Movie. What's I'm your favourite movie? movie? The Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, never seen it, but never I'm sure it. it's fantastic. It's an old one. It's a good one. Uh, a who good one. is the Gibraltarian you most look up to? Liga Sierra and Roy Cipollina. Amazing. Two Gibraltarian legends. Legends, very legends. good. Uh, Chris Cooper would like to know, what do you think are the three best ever football boots? Oof, interesting that. I'm not, so I'm not someone that cares much about football boots. Okay. So I've always like played with what I got yeah so I don't really know too much about football boots but you don't rely on the boots mm. you got the skill without mm. them another good one in and Debar's up and scores I would have to say Ronaldinho's boots okay the white and gold yeah but I th I'm pretty sure he did a YouTube video on them and mm. was the first one to get a million likes nice we'll find some pictures of those yeah you gotta find them yeah the we quality. will I, and I know that they're my brother's favourite boots okay and I do like Ronaldo Fenomeno. Yeah. The old Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. He's um, boots, the one that he wears across his neck. Mm -hmm. The Nike ones. So. Yeah, cool. And one more. <laughs> no. Can't Just give two. You. Top two. That's <laughs> enough. That's a hard question. Three best ever football good. boots. Can't give you that one. Okay, Philip would like to know which of your international teammates do you think would fit in the best at, at Wickham Wanderers? Wow. Wow. That's a good question. Depends what we're looking for. What are we looking for, like? Up to you, you choose. Creativity, defensive guy. I think Liam Walker. Liam Walker. Liam Walker has a lefty of a wand. Okay. And can find anyone, but so can Wingy, but... Okay, so Liam, Liam we Walker. might be coming for you. Walker. Uh, Wickham Wanderers Gibraltar would like to know, aside from family and friends, what have you missed most since relocating from Gibraltar? Food. Food. Absolute What's your favourite food. food to eat? Dabas. Love Dabas. So here in UK, very sorry to say, <laughs> that tapas isn't the best. Okay, so we're going to have to so take I've a trip then. I had to find some restaurants where there are some very nice tapas spot. Have you found a good tapas spot in Wickham? No. no. Okay, sorry about sorry. that, guys. Sorry, Wickham. <laughs> um, who would you... This is a good one. John Granville's long throw has said, who would you bite first if you were a mosquito? Jasper. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy, Jasper. Why? Why Jasper? Jasper. Jasper. Just want to irritate him. Yeah, no, Jasper. Just, just that's Simple. it, Jasper. Jasper. Okay. <laughs> Andy would like to know what's your favourite cheese? Manchego. Manchego cheese. Good yeah. choice. Manchego with a little bit of ham, and then jamón ibérico. Okay. Perfect. Oh, lovely. Very little nice. Little breadsticks. Beautiful. Got a feast going on here. Yeah, tapas. <laughs> tapas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leo would like to know if you could fly, but only one metre off the ground. Or you could be invisible, but only for one minute. Which would you choose? Fly for one minute off the ground forever. So fly, I think, forever, but only one metre off the ground. Or be invisible, but only for one minute. Oh, I think I'd fly. I'd fly. Just hover everywhere. Fly, yeah, that's, yeah that's well fun. Wouldn't be tired. <laughs> um, Dan Clark. Now, you've probably heard this question in the changing rooms. Dan Clark said, would you rather fight a bear-sized duck or ten duck-sized bears? It's a confusing question. I read it, it is, first. When yeah. I think it was you asked Jasper yeah. first. I had to listen to it a good five times. Yeah. I'd fight the duck that's the size of the bell. Wow. Jasper has a friend. He is was that, alone. Everyone was saying the, the duck-sized nah. bears. 
It's more, I don't know. Just How would you approach you. that situation? How are you going to defeat that bear-sized duck? Me, this is you. Uh, you've got to focus on the other ones. How many? You said? Ten of them. It's too it's many. Very small. Too many. The you other one's more like me versus you. Let's go. Okay. Fair enough. You could just give it a few loaves of bread. It might get bored of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it true you perfected your heading ability playing two toke during the summer months at Camp Bay? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Two, but I'm uh, saying it wrong. Do toke. Oh, toke. Two yeah. toke. Two touches. It's called two touches. Oh, okay. So it's a game back home go. that we play in in Kwari Camp Bay, right. um, where my family goes to the beach. Okay. Um, we're very well known for playing there. Yeah. So yeah, I could And that's true? Yeah, it's very true. Very nice. It's just a game where you play two touches, two versus two. Um, and yeah, so you and your partner have two touches between each other. Right. So you normally find each other by crossing it nice. to one side then, little skim, go. <laughs> uh, in honour of the Wiccan badge, Callum would like to know if you had your own football club and you had to design the badge, what animal would feature on it? Poor. Good question, that. A horse. A horse? A horse. Why a horse? Balante forward. Nice. Okay. Uh, Owen said, if you could change your kit number to any of your choice, what would you choose? Hmm. Sorry, Wingy. Number 10. Number 10. He's having the number 10. <laughs> Henry said, how hard was it for you to choose Wickham over Gibraltar recently? Toughest decision in football. Yeah. Yeah. Not a nice one to make, Not eh? Not a nice one, though. Um, Jack said, if you had to be trapped on a desert island with one member of non-playing staff, who would it be and why? Careful with your answer, because Phil sat just in the corner. <laughs> one member of non-playing staff, who would it be and why? Wow. Who would be the smartest? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I would question. say a chef, but apparently you can cook, so you might not need a chef. I can cook. But that's very good. I'm going to pick Michael. Michael okay. is the strongest chef in the EFL. Amazing. So I'm sure he can be handy. Well, Michael, there you go. You're off to a desert island. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I like this question. Alice said, what fictional family would you most like to join? Fictional family? Fictional family. So it's not a real family. It could be from a TV show or a movie. What family would you like to join? These questions are too hard for me, huh? <laughs> They're quite difficult. <laughs> fictional family I'd like to join? I'll start. Do you know the borrowers, the little people that live under the floorboards? No idea. And it's basically little miniature people that live under the floorboards of people's houses. And I just think that would be so fun. So I would join the borrowers family. <laughs> this is a Not hard convinced. question. That, yeah, I'm going to have to give it some thought. Maybe the Simpsons? No. No. Uh, what other that. families are there? I'm sorry, guys. It's too many. That's a hard one. We'll, we'll get back we'll to you on that to, one. I'll we'll find the answer. Of... We'll get back to you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Last question. What is the best part about playing for your national team? Everything about it is just so good. Just love it. It's just you obviously play. Growing up there, you know everyone, so it's not like a kind of thing where like oh. They're footballers and not like they're watching people that they know. So mm -hmm. it's very different to maybe other countries. Um, but yeah, just playing for your country is just the people representing it. Playing at home obviously is the most special thing in front of the rock. Um, yeah, just representing it. Amazing. Well, TJ, that's all Thank the questions you. I've got for you. Sorry, Thank you so I'm much. Sorry, I'm not as uh, funny as Jasper and Grimm. No, it was great. We've done good. It was great. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us for this week's episode of Knowing Me, Knowing Blues. Find out which player will be on the sofa with us next, sometime next week. Okay, so TJ, you've got an answer for the fictional family, haven't you? Yeah. What is it? Which we've fictional come, family would you want to be a, a part of? We're going to give it as a family. Yeah. Friends. I think that counts as a family. Joey Giubiani. TJ, bang. <laughs> Link up Joey Tripiani all day Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love uh, it. Good. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. <laughs>